up at the clipper because I'm using a metal blade, I'm going to very slowly arc the clipper away from the head and let the clipper cut as I cut the hair as I'm pulling away from the head. What that's going to do is going to avoid us leaving a weight line. We've already removed the bulk on the top and the round of the head section, so I want to leave off about an inch below this area here so I have some room to do just some final blending, but what you'll find is that it's going to be much easier that we're not leaving a heavy weight line or mushroom line. So we're going to turn the clipper on and very slowly let the clipper work and about an inch below start pulling the clipper away very slowly and as you can see it's cutting as we're pulling away from the head and we're not, we're not left with a heavy weight line or mushroom line. So it's going to save us a lot of time and make our work much more accurate. Heel of the blade to the tip of the blade as we work our way up. Heel of the blade to the tip of the blade. And we're gonna work this step all the way around. And what you wanna picture in your mind is this straight up and down, which is gonna create, which is gonna finish off this square shape that we're talking about to leave the weight in the corners. So this angle is what we wanna take when we're cutting. So we want to make a few passes. Now for the next step, we're going to work our way down to the uh, eighth of an inch blade, which is our one and a half blade. We're going to do the same thing. Always remember to leave a quarter of an inch to a half an inch distance between where you left off with your previous blade. And start to pull the teeth away and very, very slowly rock the clipper away from the head. What that does, as I said before, it's going to create that nice smooth tapering effect and no lines. We're just going to start removing the hair very slowly. We're going to work our way up to that guide. And at the top, we have to, we're going to take an imaginary line until we run out of hair. But instead of it being parallel and straight up, we're going to round it in slightly. Because this, again, this is a contour shape. And I'm going to move the comb slow. The slower I move the comb, the more weight I take. And a lot of times I'll only close the scissor halfway, but since we want a lot more texture and a lot more weight removed, I'm going to close the scissor all the way. So we want to take a lot of weight out and give a lot of texture. Okay, and this is going to give the hair a lot of movement. just slightly you're gonna go through you're gonna take that little bit of hair off and you're actually texturizing and taking length at the same time completely cutting out a whole step okay we're on the middle section now and we're letting that guy just pop out of there and follow it and working our way right back just going back just about a half inch at a time so that you don't miss any sections now, Tommy here gets a shorter cut, so sometimes you gotta just let your fingers loosen up a little bit to get down there and not keep that tension so tight. And you can see that there's a heavy weight line there, and very lightly, we're gonna take that off. Literally, just a hair. And work your way just across the fringe. Take off any of that line of demarcation. 